Good morning. It's Lisa with Soulshine, and it's morning tea with me. And today I have my tea in my at-home mug, although I'm heading out after lunch, but I'll have this done by then. And my smoothie this morning, not as yummy as usual because I'm out of bananas. So it's very grassy tasting, but I'm getting it down. So today, um, as I was getting ready, fluffing my hair and uh, putting on my makeup, I was listening to Joyce Myers like I always do. And today she was talking about rest. And for the longest time when I would hear rest, I would think laziness or sleepiness. And um, I had a tough time for the whole time with the whole be still part of the Bible. And then it dawned on me that aren't supposed to just be lazy and still all the time, that you are to be still and find rest in the movement. So like, I can choose to worry and struggle and strive. I've been there, I've done that, and I continue to struggle with that, but it doesn't really lead me to the place of peace that I crave. So then I end up frustrated and annoyed and empty feeling at the end of the day. So I've learned that if instead of using my natural neutral of worry and struggle and strife, if I shift over by choice to rest, that I get done all the things during the day that I need to get done, but from a place of rest, knowing that I'm doing a good job, that God is gonna kind of take care of, of making the, the small deposits that I do burst into bigger things, um, that I can just kind of lean back and know that good things are on the way and help is on the way and the right people are going to find me and the right knowledge is going to seep into my brain and the bad stuff will weed its way out. So my point is, uh, according to what I was reminded of by the great Joyce Myers, um, to whatever you're doing today and whatever your to-do list shows, I pray that you will find rest amongst it. Um, everything sounds better when you put ST at the end of it, doesn't it? Whilst, amongst, it's a great addition. I'm a wordy girl, sorry. I just dist distracted. But anyway, find rest. There's another ST ending that is pretty awesome. I didn't even plan that. Mm, it's good how things work out sometimes. Anyway, I encourage you to find rest in your brain and your thoughts most importantly, because that's where I struggle the most, because worry spins a lot. Like, um, I worry about my kids, the future, I worry about their um, sanity levels, like are they finding enough joy and peace and love in the world? Um, I worry about bills, I worry about the shop, I worry about my husband and his health, and I worry about my friends, and there's so many things to worry about. <laughs> the, the list is endless. Um, but instead, I'm going to lean today and every day forward as much as I can um, in rest while I do it instead of worry. I prefer that instead. It just feels better, and I think it's more productive. And I think that's what God's plan is for us to do anyway, is to rest. So whatever you're doing today, I hope you find much rest. And know that I'm sending you much love, and I hope you have a most marvelous day. Love you much. Mwah.